All right, we've already been working with this uh, with this next concept, um, even though uh, not explicitly. So let's make it explicit. Let's uh, let's put it out there on the table. The um, uh, another really important concept um, when you're drawing, and this relates to keys and value scales as well, is um, is local value, right? So when you're keying a drawing as a whole, that's one thing. When you're keying an object, that's another. When you're keying an object, that's called that's called local value. Um, and basically, the idea is that if you were to take the entirety of this raven, what value would you say it would be? Like, would you say overall that it's like uh, zero, one, uh, really light? Would you say that it's ten, nine, eight, seven? You might say, well, you know, it's it's definitely dark. So it's in the five to ten range, right? Um, you would say that the, that its color is black, um, with some maybe bluish hints to it. Um, so if you were to pick something, you would maybe say seven point five eight nine something like that, um, because there are light parts in it, but predominantly it's really dark. So that would be its local value. So if you were to take a glance at a ra at this drawing of a raven you want to be able to see that the local value is uh, is pretty dark. Um, so that's kind of uh, how you can key an object itself. Um, so if, you, if you're able to key a drawing and then key the objects uh, within a drawing, then you're going to be in really, really great shape for uh, for drawing almost anything you want to draw. And then you can do that within like certain sections. So if I were to separate this this object by the shadow, right? I've got the line of, of shadow right along here. You see that? Um, if I work in the shadow, I can say, well, the shadow overall is is uh, seven to ten, uh, so its local value would be like eight-ish. Um, and then if I'm working in, in the uh, highlight section, besides uh, what I would do is throw out the highlights since there are some highlights, but I would say that it would be like uh, uh, five to five to um, or maybe seven to five. Something like that, uh, maybe five to three, seven to three. Um, so r roughly, it would be like in a in a mid tone most of the time with these jumps for the highlights. Um, so you can basically narrow down your drawing in a very logical way. From overall, the drawing is this value. The object in in the drawing is this value the shadow part of the object is this value, the light part of the object is this value, um, and then you can you can really make sure that that you're hitting that. So this is kind of like your self-checking um, mechanism uh, when you draw and uh, that's really that's really important besides you know proportions and, and all that other stuff. So what's going to happen with this with this drawing as I work through is uh, as I push through these these values, then you're going to see uh, everything that's in the uh, dark or the light area get darker and darker.
And one thing, if you're feeling particularly brave, um, I see a little teeny highlight here, but I don't see any highlights really from here down. So one, so what I can do is I can just go ahead and start to uh, knock this down. I can um, can always bring it back with erasers, you know. But uh, erasers you might want to bring in towards the uh, towards the end of the drawing. And here down at the bottom of the tail, I don't even have to like lay in the outline just yet. Not that important. All right, so uh, we're gonna move on to a uh, uh, another concept um, and uh, keep working with this drawing, most likely.